Hello folks, this is Alex from the Timelapse Guy and today I want to talk about this. The Myops Capsule 360 Video and Timelapse Motion Control. Have fun! So the guys from Myops reached out to me and asked me if I would like to test this device, especially for Tunnel photography. And of course, I did not want to miss this chance. So once again, big thank you to the guys working at Myops for sending me this. And in this video, I'm going to give you an introduction of what Capsule 3 Thix is, uh, what it comes with, what the features are. Then, of course, I'm going to show you the th stuff I achieved with it in the last month. And after that, I'm going to give you some thoughts of what I like about the product and what I don't like. Capsule 360 comes in this neat little box which contains a micro USB charging cable, the device itself and one camera cable depending on which camera you own. The device itself has a micro USB port for charging, a power button and two ports for camera control. You can use Capsule 360 with your DSLM or DSLR camera, an action camera or your mobile phone. To set up the device on a tripod you can simply use the thread on the bottom of the Capsule 360 and mount it directly to a tripod. Then you can either connect your camera directly to it using the screw or you attach another ball head to have better angle control. Then you simply plug in the camera cable to Capsule 360 and connect it to your camera port. This way your camera gets controlled by Capsule 360. You can either mount Capsule 360 horizontally for panoramic shots or tilt it by 90 degrees using a second ball head to take tilt shots. To control and program the device you can simply download the Capsule 360 app from your app store. When you open the app, Capsule 360 changes the color of the light to indicate which device you are now connecting to. This is especially helpful when using multiple capsules for pan and tilt shots combined. If you want to connect to this device now, the app will ask you if you want to take a pan or tilt shot. Probably Capsule 360 has a built-in orientation sensor that knows how the device is orientated. After that you will get into the main menu of the app where you currently have 13 different modes available. For time lapses there are 5 modes. The basic time lapse mode, a mode for long exposure, uh, for example night time lapses, a bulb ramping mode for changing light conditions during the recording like a day to night uh, change, a speed ramping mode if you want to record a time lapse with changing interval increments and a HDR mode. I have used the first two modes in this re review and have already achieved epic results I'm going to show you soon. Besides the time lapse modes there are also different functions for normal filming like a tracking mode where your smartphone camera tracks an object and then keeps it in the picture or a star tracker mode. But since I checked Capsule 360 for time lapses only, in this review I concentrated on those modes. If you want to find out more about the other modes go to myops.com or check the link in the video description. Let me show you how to set up Capsule 360 for the basic timeless mode for example. First we define the starting point of our rotation by simply moving this slider in the desired direction, clockwise or counterclockwise. Capsule 360 follows our movements as you can see. If we like this position we go to next and define the end point. Finally Capsule 360 will automatically move back to the starting point. In the lower half of the screen you can set the remaining settings such as the FPS number of the final video, the interval between the photos and the desired final video length. With the long exposure mode you can also adjust the exposure time so that Capsule 360 knows how long a position must be held before the device continues to rotate so that no traces of lights are created. All these settings are transferred then to your camera via cable so you don't have to make any other adjustments to the camera itself.
So that's my thoughts about the Myops Capsule 360. If you want to check out their website, go to myops.com. Uh, I put the link to that into the description, so check it out. So at the moment, they're also offering a 15% discount by using the code stay at home. So if you're considering buying something like a motion control device, you should definitely check out their website. And um, yeah, for me, it's a recommendation I really like, and I'm probably going to have it inside my camera bag um, all the time now. Yeah, that's my video for now. I hope you stay safe and healthy. If you have any questions, just write them down below in the comments section. Check out the description for the link to Mars, and I hope I see you in the next video.